Because that's that's just what happens. You get old, you get tired, and then you take naps. But you and Sasha aren't old. Tracy's old. <laughs> it is not polite to discuss somebody's age. Why not? Those are the rules. Well, I should be getting back to the house. I'm making pork chops for dinner. With applesauce? Homemade. How about, Sasha, you take Violet up to the house with you and you get some apples and carrots for the horses. But I'm supposed to watch Cody saddle Buttercup. You're absolutely right about that, and we will wait, I promise. Hey, horses love apples and carrots, and if you feed them to Buttercup, she will love you even more. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Sorry about making you and Violet wait. It won't happen again. Really, Cody? In the middle of the day. I am entitled to a break every now and then. Yeah, you are. But there are children on the grounds, and they could have seen you. We were in my bedroom. Oh, right. And Leo has never barged into your rooms unannounced. That, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, locks me up in the back, and I think you can drop through walls. And tell me what you were thinking. Aside from the obvious. Uh, just that, it was a big afternoon. Because you returned James safely to his frazzled but loving parents? No, not that. No, no. Yes, helping James was a big part of it. Huge, actually, because of what happened afterwards. And I told James that I'm his son. I think he might even have forgiven me. I can't ask people to turn a blind eye to your history. Don't! When you and Britt were appointed coaches, did you turn a blind eye to hers? We certainly didn't like each other. Or working with each other, or anything about each other at all. Yeah. What? By the time Britt invited you to her first and only ever birthday bash, you were more than co-workers. More than coaches. You were friends, right? Yeah, we were. That was a great party. You two sang a hell of a duet. I relive it every day. I remember how excited I was for her. Seeing her ready to embark on a new life. None of us knew the life she had was having that same night. You know, Britt died because she saved Jocelyn and Jax. And you think I can use that to persuade Michael not to object? Maybe. If you told him that Britt was trying to help me work here again and that you want to honor it. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. You'll do it? Hey, I'm here for three different people. That case arrested my sister? Yeah, you sure did. Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, man? My sister, she was just in the hospital. And that means she shouldn't have to face the consequences of her actions? Of what actions? What actions are you talking about? Well, his charges, he's using Christina to get to me. So where's she now? Alexis got on him, so she was able to get stormed in there. Focus chairs or not, I guess that's better than locker. Mom, you know what Agent Kate's saying isn't true, right? Not only not true, it's not even plausible. When I went to Ava's hotel room, yes, I was angry, and she got angry back. When I told her that I was going to tell the court about everything with Connie and Morgan, that's when she grabbed me. I certainly did not attack her. I know that. And if we have to, we will prove it. I don't think that Christina had any intention of hurting Ava. And whatever happened in that hotel room certainly had nothing to do with Ava being witnessed by the FBI. Well, that's painfully obvious. Christina is defensive and confrontational under the best circumstances. Dealing with Ava, I can set anybody off. So, I have to ask myself, could Christina have been the one who initiated the physical confrontation? And as painful as it is to admit, yes, it's possible. I mean, I was there when Christina received Ava's subpoena to testify at Avery's custody hearing. What was her initial reaction? She was adamant about not testifying against Sunny. She even asked me about refusal to appear. But you told her not to, right? Of course. That's why Christina went to see Ava, to get her to withdraw the subpoena. Maybe Christina's actions were a little rash, given that there's no chance Ava would ever consider changing her mind, but it hardly seems unhinged. Christina has a temper, and she's hated Ava ever since.